Good morning, everybody. Welcome to whatever Wednesday here at home with Empty Canvas. Thank you guys for hopping on the other day at my launch. Love you. Okay, so today Michelle Venables has suggested a jellyfish. So we are going to paint a jellyfish. Um, let me switch this around until I get my um, tech guide. Maybe next week, even as far as next week, we might be able to do this live so you guys can talk to me but I have to get a hold of him first. Um, you're just gonna need white, black, blue. If you wanna paint your background, if you wanna paint your background um, an ocean color, your, um, your jellyfish, I'm having a hard time with that name. Your jellyfish is going to be uh, blue and white and a little bit of black, so it's like a, a, a real nautical kind of a blue so maybe you have yourself like a, a teal colored ocean uh, or you can just leave it white and we'll do some little bubbles and stuff in blue you can paint some coral and things up the sides so that's going to be up to you guys I'm just going to paint this um, this jellyfish and I'm so sorry that I'm having a hard time remembering the name of that thing we're starting off with um, we're going to take some blue, put it in the center, and I want to have a little bit of dark in it, so take a little, just a tiny bit of black, just so I got a deeper blue, and you all know me, I don't like the color of primary blue, so I always add something to it, whether it's yellow or white or a little bit of black, just to make it a little darker. All right, so we're going to start with the shape, um, so we want to have long um, little stringy things that come down so I'm going to put them quite high but first we're going to draw the inside so I'm going to make a just sort of a wiggly kind of an oval this absolutely does not have to be perfect so it's going to be like a sideways oval that's his inside now we're just going to cap it off on the outside and again this does not have to be perfect because they go through the ocean, they go as they're swimming. So you can get any kind of form from these things, but we're gonna kind of keep it the basic shape of uh, what's in my head. And go like this a little bit. I don't like that shape. I don't like that shape. Let's fix that. I wanted it to be more rounder. This is more boxy and I didn't really want boxy. So, just with a wet brush, paper towel, wet brush, paper towel, wet brush, paper towel. And because I'm painting to the side, I'm just gonna swoosh that out. Ooh, hey, let's do that. Let's just have a wet, I'm just gonna make it take it damp like this. Swoosh that out. Really light blue all around this thing. Start right over. See? If you guys are painting along with me, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. So I just got a little bit of blue and I'm just gonna... I didn't like my shape, so I'm just gonna push that all over the place. Really, really lightly. Might as well just go with it. Get it down there. Get it wet, swoosh that around. Okay, so now we got a little bit of background color wherever that thing is going to be. The jellyfish. But my canvas is going to be super wet now, so. should have used one of those little fans that I'm giving you guys. <laughs> Makes less noise. Takes a little longer though. Okay, let's go at this a whole different way then so that I get it right. So let's go, okay, there's the under part of it. And then I want it to come, I'm sorry, I'm going to get in front guys just so that I can get the shape right. And I want it to be really rounded on this side. Okay, there's the shape that you want. 
weird. I just wanted a little loop in that part there. Now we can build the inside by going like with um, a half there. So it looks like it's sideways, which is awesome. So you don't go straight across with your moon, go sideways a little bit. Kind of looks like a mushroom cap. Alrighty, let us build in here, just in this part here and this part like right around here. We're gonna go a little bit um, smudgy, a little bit smudgy. I almost put mine in my coffee, do you see that? This is my coffee. It is not my drinking water. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more black and I'm gonna like keep this watered out. I want this to be a really dark, but not, I don't know if you guys can get the right color. It's not black, but I wanna have that along this edge here. and along um, this edge. So go right over top of the blue that you originally drew it with. Bring it down and then bring it down into here. So along here, and a little bit on the inside. And then add a little bit of the straighter blue-black to the side of this. So it was a little bit darker there and then a little bit more of the blue-black here rounded. Nothing's looking square here, okay? So it's all looking rounded. Okay, cool. Clean that off. Let us go. Let's, let's bring some of that just a little bit around this bottom part here on the inside too. Just a little bit round on the inside. Mm, keep that rounded, a little bit round there on the inside. Go into some white. Take the white and go to the edge. Can't see it, but go around all the edge of this and through the center, and we're gonna blend this right over that line. See how it's picking at that blue and blending it in? All right, so now, now you're gonna go into this here and then back into here, mess it up on this side as well. Keep some of it white in the center. This is going to give it the illusion of being um, round this way. If it gets to be too much, um, too much color and or the circle just seems too round like mine is, don't worry about it. We'll go back later. So put in a little bit of white over into this stuff, just so all of my harsh lines are gone and it just kind of blends. Um, I get a little bit of this blue here. Take some white and take a little bit of the first blue-black that we did. So we've got a nice light blue-black color. Maybe take a little bit of that too. Um, this is gonna be here on the inside. Leave little round marks like that. And maybe a little bit here. It's gonna be just a little bit darker in here. Why, you ask why? Because that's where all the tentacles are gonna come from. So there's kind of a shadowy thing going on. So do you see the weird kind of a shape I've got there? That needs to be there. I am going to clean my brush off, go into some straight white, put the white inside those, don't touch any color yet, the white in here and in here, wipe that off, now we're just going to sort of blend them all so that there's no harsh lines and it all just sort of shadows together, no harsh lines but the shadows are there. I want to go back up, um, well, clean your brush off so there's no color. Go back up here with some straight white and so that it's not so much of a circle there, but like a round bit. Even if the, even if the paint just has to sit on there. Right up to the top. Okay, that's our start. 
Okay. Oh, I love it. It looks really good. And I like that there's nothing really behind it. Really. So we're going to have um, some blue, blue, black. This is going to be a little bit darker. We're going to, and I want it to be a little bit watery. Not so bad. You could do these any old way you want, but they have some fatter tentacles and then some stringy ones, right? So let's just start by waving one down a little bit. You can start right from that line so it looks like it goes up inside. Um, clean your brush off a little bit. Have it have it damp. So it's a little bit damp. And I'm going to go over this with my angle brush and just flatten it out a little bit. Just watery it. It's going to be like wiggly. Leaving a, I'm leaving one of the dark lines on that side that I started with. I'm running out of wetness, so wash my brush. It's just a little bit damp. We love my few ones. We love my few ones. My nephews are in the ones. other room hanging out with we my mom, my so they're a little ones. closer than normal. We love my few ones. But uh, yeah, we love their mom is having this baby any minute. So she's resting a lot right now. Okay, so you see how that one's a little bit fatter? You, that disappears. Just get some more dark blue of your blue color. And it's all kind of wiggly like a torn up ribbon. So I'm just sort of wiggle tapping it. Now you're going to make mm, maybe three or four of these. They can all come down. Some are going to come out and crisscross. They don't have to be on the same pattern. So I'm going to do this one gonna come down. I think this one's maybe gonna go way over here. Can come right off the page if you want it to. So draw your lines now that you know how to do those. Uh, maybe I've got one that comes up and it's gonna crisscross there. And it's just a little bit longer but not going off the page. I suggest doing these one at a time because they'll dry fast. If you're not painting fast like me, they could dry too fast on you. Um, do I just want three? Maybe I'll stop at three. Okay, so watered it down a little bit. If the color disappears, you've got too much water in there. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. Now you do not have to use blue. If you want yours to be um, white, say you want yours to be white. If you wanted yours to be like a clear one or a soft pink, use the same color as I am, but a real subtle blue for the lightness. Like you can just start with a real subtle blue with that one and then even lighter. Up to you. This is completely up to you pink would look good. I'm just browsing around for pictures of them under the ocean. There's some beautiful ones there. Yellows, ones with stars in here. But it's completely, completely up to you what color you want. Do it to your decor. Maybe you want green. I don't know. Go crazy. Another thing too, which so that they look like they fold over a little bit when you're doing your line. So say you started on this side, maybe get the darker, darker blue black so I can show you. You start your blue line here. You can cross it over. I'm just recreating it. You can cross it over so that then it's on that side anywhere you want. So it just looks like it kind of twists. So you can see how the uh, curve started on that side, all that flare on that side, and then it went around there, and then it's on the other side. Then it looks like it twists. Now I gotta do it with all of them. So it just wouldn't look right. I 
almost done guys. This is another fast one, but oh, it's very beautiful. So I'm going to let you guys get a hold of me, um, taking them in order. If I don't get another suggestion, Michelle suggested um, also a sunflower. So if nobody gets a hold of me, we will be doing sunflowers next time. Just saying. Okay. Now, the rest of this is just all um, little weird lines. So you're going to have to get, I'm going to do it in the dark blue black. Look how much paint. I used way, way too much paint. So we want this to be watery, but not too watery. So you're going to check and see. Now these lines here, I'm using my anger brush. If you got the real tiny one, go ahead and use that. But you're going to stay all inside of this cap. You're not going to go outside of it. You're not going to go out this side of it. So, um, And they all start from inside here and they just lightly touch and I'm just using that tip part of my thing if you can't if you can't get a nice thin line like this you can do this part with a, a fine tip sharpie because it's just kind of blue so make sure that they're all going in different directions they don't all flow down try not to make marks like that If you do, it's okay. Doesn't look bad. Um, you can have some even come in here like this, and because they're fl he's flying away, they can have a swoop like that, right? It's like because they're swimming, so they're all kind of doing that motion. This is this is the fun part, so. Maybe one comes like this and it goes way over there like that. These tentacles can be any old place you want them to be. Just fill in your gaps. It's flying over that way. And just stop when you think you have enough. Do you like it? So it looks like it needs a little more down this side. Maybe I'll do one more coming down straight here. Oh, oh, just love it. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Okay, one more thing. I'm just going to sign this. Okay, beautiful. Let me, uh, oh, one, if you want to do some bubbles. All I'm going to do is just take this blue um, and just little little circles that go up. But don't do them in a straight line. Make them come. If you've got like a white, uh, a darker background, you can just do um, polka dots. So it's up to you if you want to do those dots. But thank you so much for the suggestion. I love this one. We'll see you next week for something. Send me suggestions. Email is at the bottom. So just email me. Okay, bye now.